And I'm sure you've heard it all before You never really had it down I'm glad to be back with another video. I think it's been over a year since I uploaded my last video going to some waterfalls. So today, as you've seen on the title and on the preview, we're going to be exploring a beautiful hiking trail to a viewpoint. So keep up. Now, I'm going to try to make this video as short and as detailed as possible. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the trail, how to get here, where to start, and any recommendations. Here are some things I recommend for this hike. Definitely bring water, but bring just enough water. Don't bring a whole jug because that'll be too much weight. Bring snacks and then try not to touch any plants or anything like that because it might give you some rash, some of them. And also try to just focus on your surroundings and on the trail. Try not to lose the path. So look down and then try to look out and see what the whole trail looks like. If it looks similar on the way back, then go ahead, go for it. If not, try to just take a few steps back and then just reconsider where you came from but it's a very easy hike like i said the path it's very well um walked on so you can see the marks and it's gonna take you like 25 minutes to get all the way to the top so it's a really easy morning hike and then you can do some more things while you're here in your stay you can go to the beach you can go to some other places there's some really nice beaches here down in concha chinas that i recommend now this is definitely one of my favorite hikes it's really easy to get to the views are amazing and it's a safe place it's located basically in a neighborhood concha chinas which is up the hill from zona romantica zona romantica is known to be one of the busiest parts of puerto vallarta and there's two ways to get here one it's either you can take an uber take uh if you rented a car you can drive all the way here to the parking spot or you can hike from the highway now i highly recommend taking an uber to the starting of the hiking trail see <laughs> many birds i recommend you taking guys uh uber to the start of the hiking trail because it's gonna save you a lot of time it's gonna save you like 25 minutes and you're definitely gonna be uh more energetic on the way here but if you don't have a car and you really like hiking you can start from the highway just right there i'm gonna show you guys an image of where the beginning point looks like so you can see i've driven all the way here uh just because and you can park your car right here it's at that end street so it'll be fairly safe it wouldn't take you more than an hour to get to the viewpoint and back so there's not a big issue with that i just want to mesmerize on how close this viewpoint is to downtown and over there you find amazing nature different trees different animals and most importantly the views from there are amazing you feel like if you've left the city for hours now important thing to note is that you guys should come here and not disturb any animals any vegetation that you find here please do not pick up any plants i know there's gonna be some pretty plants on the way but try to not detach them from the ground as this is very important to keep the environment and also please take all your garbage there's no loitering here so there's no one to pick up the garbage so you wanna whatever you bring if you bring beers snacks chips whatever you want please take everything back with you as soon as you start on this street going up there's gonna be many many turns so i highly recommend you guys to keep the video on your phone while you're doing this hike so you know exactly where to turn because you might get lost between these neighborhoods there's many many streets it's like a snake it's like a zigzag so what you're going to be looking at across the street is the entrance. It says Residencial Conchas Chinas. That's the beginning of the trail we're going to be taking today. I'm going to show you along the way exactly where to take the turn so you get to the beginning of the hiking point. 
I'm gonna leave you guys an image of what the trail looks like, but we basically wanna go towards Grand Miramar. So right here, there's gonna be a wine. You're gonna see a sign here. It says Paseo de los Delfines, which is the name of the street. And we're gonna go to the right side. You don't wanna hit left because you'll be going to another way. So just take a look here. And there where it says Grand Miramar, that's exactly where you wanna head. So let's keep on going. Now, there's gonna be more detours on the way, so you gotta be careful and be and pay attention to the signs that say Grand Miramar. Here, once again, the route splits up, so you wanna take the right again. Now, this one is tricky because we came from this way, so you have to do like a U-turn, hitting that way, and you're gonna see the sign up there on the left side, Grand Miramar. Just take a look at how scenic the trail is getting. Look at this. This neighborhood is called Conchas Chinas. It's probably one of the most privileged neighborhoods in Puerto Vallarta. So just keep up and we're gonna get the view over there up top. Now, see this intersection? This means you're almost at the beginning of the hike. So this is gonna be a Y again. You don't wanna hit that way because it's a dead end street. You wanna go this way. That's where Grand Miramar is. We're almost there. So this is the hotel basically, and we want to hit that way. It's going to be a dead end street, so keep up with me. This is the last intersection. You're going to see a sign here that says for sale. So you're in the right spot. You're going to hit your right once again. I think for the most part, it's been all turns to the right. So it's been an easy road. If you follow all the steps right, you're going to be getting to this staircase. It probably seems like it leads to nowhere, but this is where you want to be paying detailed attention as things are gonna get a bit confusing and you don't wanna miss any turn or anything like that because you're gonna be heading towards the jungle. So you gotta be very careful. Woo, all right, that's a start. So once we finish all this staircase, you're gonna be heading to this white uh, thing they built here. This is a water pump. Honestly, from here, it's a pretty good view already, so you want to stay here and call it a day? I don't blame you. You're probably wondering where the trail is. So you don't see it from here. It's located right behind the white thing that they built. So follow this way. This is what the trail is going to look like. You see it, the ground is a bit more even. So you want to follow this path. We're going to be doing this for about 20 minutes more as if you point it high up in the mountains, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. Now, my suggestion for hiking this trail or any trail in the jungle is that if things seem to look very alike and you start getting nervous and you feel like you're getting lost, just try to look out for the way back from where you came from and just go back to a safe spot. You don't wanna be wandering around just hiking in the jungle because you're definitely gonna get lost and there's barely any signal here. Damn, this heat definitely has a big factor when hiking in a coastal town. The heat is definitely a big factor to take in consideration when you're going to be hiking on a coastal town like Puerto Huerta. Uh, on a sunny day, the temperatures can get to 35, 36 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. But you want to keep that in mind because believe me, a heat stroke, it's not a joke. Pay attention here as it's easy to keep on walking if you're just staring at the ground. So always pay attention to your surroundings. Here there's gonna be like a U-turn going up. I've made the mistake the first time that I came here that I follow straight and obviously I didn't get nowhere. I didn't get lost, but just leave me nowhere. So I can't pin it exactly where the turn is, but just see the ground. Like wherever it's more even, it's gonna be pretty obvious and just follow that way. On the way here, you're going to notice how many of these trees are, the palm ones. They're not coconut trees, they're coconut oil trees, which is like a smaller version. They use that to make uh, cooking oil, to make some tanning oil, all that. You're gonna know you're getting there as you're gonna see some big rocks on the way and you're gonna have to actually hike over them. So if you see them, you're in the right. My God, it's hot, but we've made it. So you're gonna see some poles, 
some lines there, you know you're in the right spot. My God, look at this view. Oof. I want you to look at how little Vallarta has been built over these years. Look at all this street of mountains we still have here in the bay. And look at Towny, the hotels look compared. I don't know the exact purpose of this fence, but maybe there's like a satellite or something close to here. But they've done a pretty good job. Definitely bring some bug spray because the mosquitoes are eating me and there's all types of bugs. So it's very annoying to be here and just be bidding all over. Now, a thing that I remember that it's very important is whenever you're hiking somewhere secluded where there's barely any signal, uh, you definitely want to download some maps. It's either Google Maps, the ones on iOS, whatever you want but it comes very handy when there's no signal so you at least know where you are standing perfect we already got all the drone shots that we needed for this video be very careful if you decide to walk on this fence as many people have walked on it so i don't think it's very stable you don't want to fall all the way down and then have to hike with a broken ankle with this video i'm pretty sure you'll be able to get here entirely by yourself no need for a guide or anyone to take you here but still if you feel unconfident or you don't want to get lost you want someone to take your pictures to show you around to give you intel about all the nature that there is we'll definitely be more than happy to take you here this is the link to our official website and down here in the description i'll also leave the link so you just click and check it out we have uh, boat tours hiking tours waterfalls uh hidden beaches you name it so the only thing left is just to hike down uh, so it's gonna be easier it's gonna be like 15 minutes on the way down just follow the same trail try same way not to go of the beaten path just look down and then look at your surroundings make sure you're going in the right way and you'll be there like i said in 15 minutes you'll be able to get an uber back or hike all the way to the highway or take your car Thank you guys for watching the whole video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you find it really helpful. So you're able to get here on your own. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and send the video to anyone that you think might be interested in getting to this beautiful place. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. Be safe.